What is up, Core Addicts? Welcome back to the series where I build popular movies slash TV show vehicles using cars in GTA Online. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what movie slash TV show car you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next build video. Now again guys, remember that I do have a separate series for the Fast and Furious cars, so again, this movie slash TV show series is for the other popular movie vehicles. So, in today's video, we're going to be building the custom 1973 Ford Falcon from the 1979 movie Mad Max. A very well-known film with tons of sequels following, however, the build we're going to go for is the one from the original movie. So, the car we're going to be using for this build is the Vapid Apocalypse Imperator, which is directly based on the Ford Falcon from the movie, this car can be purchased on the Arena War website for a normal price of just under 2.3 million or a trade price of about 1.7 million. A very expensive car for sure, but that's the case with pretty much all the Arena War vehicles. They're well over $2 million with upgrades and stuff, so just is what it is. But anyways, let's go ahead and start the build for the Ford Falcon Interceptor from the movie Mad Max. Alright, Mad Max Interceptor, let's do it. I, I named mine Mad Max, by the way, that's why it says it down there, <laughs> just so you know. Uh, but yeah, brakes. And you can do that, by the way, the naming. Let me show that here really quick. So here, you can name it whatever you want. I named mine Mad Max, but obviously standard, it would say, you know, Apocalypse um, uh, Imperator. So, yeah. Alright, so as usual from these builds, we'll do max performance mod, so I got the brakes. Um, here you can do the boost if you want. Uh, now the car, to my knowledge, it didn't have nitrous, um, I think it was depicted as running on nitromethane, which is a different fuel, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm just going to skip this, save some money, um, body work, you're going to skip all these decorations here, spikes, the car didn't have that, obviously skip that, same thing with the blades, skip that, no armor plating, skip all that, um, it didn't have a roll cage either, so <laughs> skip that too, um, engine will max out, Exhaust so believe it or not the uh, stock exhaust is actually the the closest one. So Yeah, we're gonna keep the stock exhaust there a uh, grill um, all of these are not you know <laughs> Yeah, I'm just not not uh, accurate at all not even close it just looks terrible So you're, you're gonna keep obviously if you're going for like a crazy apocalypse build I guess but you know if you're going for the movie look um, obviously you want to keep the grill stock um, hood so here we have the different hood options and you want to go all the way down here. So you do have this one, the improvised bug catcher, but this one just sits a bit too low. On um, the real car, had it sitting a lot higher, which is just like the high improvised uh, bug catcher right here. So that's going to be the closest. Um, these other scoops, they're, they're just too big, um, the bug catchers. Um, so yeah, at least to me, the closest is going to be the last one here, the high improvised bug catcher. Um, lights, you want to keep these stock. That's pretty perfect there, you know, a yellowish light color. Um, livery, you want to keep the stock, you know, no rusty liveries or anything like that. Now for plate, uh, the car, the real car did have um, a plate that said MFP, which stood for Main Force Patrol. Of course, the, you know, task force, um, you know, the Australian Federal Police Task Force depicted in the film. Um, so, you know, I think the best thing for this would be, you know, get a black background and put the MFP on there. That would probably look really sick. But at the time of this recording, we still don't have the website yet to do the plates as the replacement to the um, iFruit app that Rockstar disabled, so yeah. Uh, I guess I'll just leave it with that. I mean, it is the um, the Ford, it's the, the XB GT Ford Falcon, right? So I guess I can throw my GT plate on here. Technically, it sort of counts. Um, respray. So for the color, the car did have um, a mix of uh, gloss black and also matte black, um, but but we can't do that here, unfortunately. The secondary color on this car is the window trim and stuff. So um, what we're going to do here is we're actually just going to paint the primary color the gloss black. Um, I'm going to throw a crew black on it because I think it looks a bit darker. So let me just do mattes and then I'll put our crew on top with no pearl. Looks awesome. But again, of course, you can also use the classic black. Um, very similar, but the, the crew black just looks a bit darker. All personal preference. As a matter of fact, the regular black would probably be a bit better since... The paint wasn't exactly perfect, um, but I'm going to stick with a crew black on there. Secondary color, like I stated earlier, is the window trim. 
uh, mirrors, door handle, rear bumper, um, headlight trim as well. I mean, I guess technically, I guess you could make this matte black if you wanted to have some of that contrast there, I suppose. Um, let me see, that's the way it would look there. But the window trim on the car, I'm about 99% sure it was a gloss black, so I don't know. It, it's a bit of a toss up there, honestly. I that, that That's a tough one. That's a tough one, to be honest. Um, man, I know the real car had it matte. I, I guess we'll do the matte black. I mean, I think it needs the contrast on the rear bumper. So we'll do the matte black contrast there. Uh, Kremlin for this car goes on the doors. Okay. Um, suspension. Now, for the right height of this thing, it, it did sit pretty high. Um, I, I honestly, I think stock is going to be the closest to the real car. Maybe just one click lower, you know, just one, but not any lower than that. I, as it is, I think that's still too low, but um, yeah, I guess we'll keep it on just lowered suspension there. Transmission. A turbo we're going to skip. The car was not turbocharged. It was, you know, supercharged with a blower. Um, so, yeah, we're going to skip that. Vertical jump. Um, car didn't have that, obviously, so we're going to skip that. Save some money. Wheels. So the stock wheels on this car are actually extremely accurate to the real one. No tire lettering on it, but, you know, very accurate. Now, you can find these exact same wheels pretty much in the uh, track category. Or is it the street? I believe it's the track. It might be street. Okay, yeah, it's the street category. They're called the Hot Ring Steelies. So these are extremely similar. Um, they're just a bit larger, I believe. Plus, we can put the tire lettering on it, even though it's not an accurate tire lettering. But, um, yeah, you can throw these on here. And black, boom. And tire design. These are the different options we have here. Unfortunately, we don't have the tire design, like, from the muscle car category. Um, which is probably the closest uh, tire lettering in terms of the size and all that. So if you want to do that, you can go to muscle, and then the closest wheels in here, I believe, is the the drag SPLs. Even though the, the spokes are just it's too many spokes, um, they're kind of too far apart. But yeah, I mean you could do the the drag SPLs if you want that um, closer tire design, which I'll show here. So boom, that, that that's the correct tire lettering. You know, uh, well, at least the closest. <laughs> Um, but the wheel is not is not that close. I think the wheel is definitely off. So you, you kind of have to make a compromise. You know, you, do you want the closer wheel or the closer tire lettering? Or of course, you can just do no tire lettering at all on the closer wheel, the hot ring steel. Or you can just leave the wheel stock. You can also do that too. Um, I'm gonna throw the atomic logo on here. Yes, it's too big, but you know the reference is there, so we'll do that. Um, windows. The car did not have any window tints, so yeah, we'll leave that stock. That's um, weapons, so we got all the different round weapons and stuff. The car didn't have any of this stuff, no, none of that. So we'll skip skip all that. Now this option actually makes it look um, a bit more similar to the one from the second film. Um, you know, the, the, the spare tire with the um, mortars and stuff back here. In terms of the look, it does look a bit more like the one from the second film. So if that's the look you're going for, I guess throw this upgrade on here. But I'm going for the look from the first film, so... I'm gonna go without that and that's all the options there all right let's take it for a drive the mad max interceptor this car is actually very very quick ton of fun to drive and the sound is incredible well first person here he's got the the blower wine sounds great absolutely love that floor it's tons of wheel spin and it's a traditional muscle car <laughs> and the way it drives it's a lot of fun a lot of fun and this thing is an ultimate wheelie machine the handling you know it's, it's, <laughs> it's a bit sketchy but uh, yeah no this this is a very very fun car to drive Let's do some wheelies here. Oh, a little less. There we go. This thing does incredible. Look at how far it's still going. Oh my god. 
<laughs> That's a really good wheelie. That's a really good salt that I'm hitting. <laughs> no, this thing is super fun with the wheelies. Um, and then, of course, if, if you start messing around with all the arena stuff, even though, yes, it is expensive, uh, the jump and the boost and all that, you, you can definitely have a lot more fun with this car. But um, at that point, you're, you're getting into a very pricey territory <laughs> in terms of the performance modifications. Um, so, yeah. But, uh, yeah, this is the uh, Apocalypse Imperator, um, which Rockstar clearly designed off the Mad Max um, interceptor, but let's pull over here and open all the doors and stuff. Looks super, super cool. First person, go vehicle doors, go all, and there's the engine bay. Looks fantastic. The engine model itself looks fantastic, but they just threw it in like a sea of terrible texture quality in there. <laughs> it looks really strange. The pulleys are just kind of like peeking a quarter of the way through there, that's very strange. But the blower looks sick, and I believe that belt does work. Let's see here, I didn't really notice when we were driving it around, let's see. Oh, it does, sick! The pulleys and the belts and everything. That is awesome, I love that. Absolutely love that. Interior copied and pasted from like 90% of the muscle cars in the game at this point. Um, here's the trunk, well, it doesn't really open that far. I guess that's because of the louvers, I suppose. Or the upgrades. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, this thing... This thing's cool. I, I like it a lot. Is it worth, like, $2 million with upgrades and stuff? I don't know about that. I mean, you know, with Kayo and stuff, you can make a lot of money. I guess it's all based on how much time you want to spend grinding money in the game. Um, but it, it is a really cool movie car, and Rockstar clearly designed it off. Mad Max Interceptor, so if you're a fan of this of this car, I, I guess you should consider buying it, but you will need an arena property if you don't own it already with the workshop upgrade, and of course you gotta buy this car. So it gets very pricey very quick, but um, yeah, awesome build, love this one. Uh, definitely let me know down below in the comments what movie slash TV show build you want to see me do next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.